封信。哦，好，谢谢。哎，这封信是谁寄来的？Dear friend, it's been a while since I've talked to you last time. Of course, you're probably wondering who sent this to you. Well, to start off, this is a class assignment I got the other day in my English class. Welcome to the first day of tenth grade English. My name is Mr. Kwan.、Uh, so to get to know you guys a little bit better, I have a writing assignment for you.、Um, Take these, pass them down. So for this paper, I want to hear you write in your own voice. The assignment is for you to write a letter to an old friend, maybe somebody that you haven't talked to in a while.、Um, you're going to definitely be turning these in to me at the end. So if you'd like to keep a copy to actually send, you know, make two copies. But here's the trick, guys.、Uh, for this particular assignment, I want you to leave your name off of it. No identities, no names. Uh, of course, you're gonna want to try to not be too obvious about it. Anyways, you know, think outside the box, have a little fun with it. I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with. So I'm thinking about how to write this letter and who to write it to. Since you're my friend, we're just children. I figured it'd be best if we could talk again. But to remind you of who I am, I would like to describe myself in a rather unconventional manner. I have a string of different ideas all tied together, but they all construct a single person. I like to call myself. A man of opposites. I like to say I'm a dreamer. In my head, I have the ability to do whatever I want. My creativity flying senselessly. But I'm not passive. I'm not merely one who stays in his dreams because it's better. When I wake up, the world is my dream. And when I'm awake, it's when I write down my dreams. I'm a writer, a transcriber of my imagination. Different stories, different meanings, yet all connected. While I am a man of few words, I am one with vivid stories to tell. And when I'm not telling stories, I'm the character within them. The quick passing of time as I absorb the city lights is the energy of it all. People moving, cars rushing, lights blinking. No one cares about anyone else. On and on, the city life drives on. Away from the busy nightlife of the metropolitan, I'm a thinker, a silent one. It's your typical walk on the beach, nothing special, but thoughts are creating the noise within. They fly by, making no more noise than the lapping waves. As the sun sets, so does my mind. But when silence isn't enough, I express it through music. So you're probably wondering why I told you all these things, why I'm so impressed with this idea of storytelling, the ability to create worlds. In the end, I'm not just the writer, the dreamer, the thinker, but I end up living my stories in the worlds that I make. It starts like this: the paper I'm typing on the street light in the city, across the street, walking by the side, the characters I make, I inhabit myself. And when time goes back, my selves are split, as the observer watching and as the characters walking. All goes back. I see myself. The delicate music in the air, and when I walk forward, I walk past. 
And when I look to see myself, I'm gone. Until I look down. But that is all. There you have my description of myself in the letter. I hope you know who I am. If you do, please send a reply back. Well, until then, sincerely, your friend. Can you help me with the Okay.